Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming for Immersion. I hope that you are all doing well today. And this of course is the Tamarcon campaign that uh, I started right as soon as, Th as Thrones of Decay, Decay, learn how to talk here Michael. I started as soon as Thrones of Decay dropped and so I'm kind of stumbling and bumbling my way through learning the mechanics and everything but it's been uh, a heck of a lot of fun so far no idea if i'm doing things halfway efficiently or not but most likely probably not anyway we have gotten ourselves involved in a war with the chaos dwarfs down here this would be zatan the black or zatan the black or however you pronounce it i still have not quite learned that much lore yet um he is obviously considerably stronger than we are, so we need to be a little bit careful in how we go about this. We did declare war on him, which gave us an opportunity to basically sack Blizzard Peak right here, but it's going to be much, much harder now moving forward. Now, he does have this army here that is imminently destroyable, and then Ice Spear not too far behind it, so we could very likely... Um, this is what I'm leaning towards doing is making an attack over here. He's probably going to retreat when we try to attack him. But I think that we can take both him and that garrison together without too much difficulty. The main thing that I'm concerned about is getting very far away from the challenge stone here. Because our number one, our garrison is still quite weak. It hasn't fully replenished yet and it's only nine units. So very vulnerable. I would really kind of hate to lose this um, right now. And what it really comes down to is how close is his main army? Since he is so much stronger than we are, we know he's got multiple armies floating he's around. We are his only enemy. However, I think he just finished a war uh, with somebody, and I don't remember now who it was. This is what happens when you have four different campaigns going, I suppose. Anyway, so I don't know whether his uh, main army might have been down somewhere and you know, several turns away. We are using the reduction to uh, campaign map movement. So if, unless he's like right here, we're looking at it probably being a couple turns for him to get this far. So I'm gonna kind of hope that that is the case and launch this attack over here. Now, just one other thing, let's go up to our other province. We're finally getting really close to getting level three here. So that'll be good. If for some reason we, we do suffer some sort of a catastrophic loss, we have a little bit of of wiggle room where we could fall back to this to our main starting province and so it wouldn't be necessarily the end of the campaign for us although it would be quite ugly i am quite impressed with how strong uh Tamarcon and uh, kazik are in battle so i feel like they're going to carry us a long ways although again um you know the chaos dwarfs are quite strong so they're not going to be able to carry us over uh yeah really outlandish odds and then uh, in terms of our uh of our chieftains here, it has been requested um, that we do Ketsak Fimdarak here second. So this is what I will intend to do. We know that we can at least get fealty with him from researching technologies. We don't have high elves, dark elves, or wood elves anywhere close to us. So that's less likely to um, to get us much in the way of fealty. But anyway, I, uh, I'd like to try to accommodate requests as much as possible, and I don't really see any reason that that would uh, be um, a major mistake to go with him. But we are, of course, I should have shown this. We are still only at, uh, we need seven, we're only at six. So we need just a little bit more dominance and then we can grab him. And we can get that possibly even this turn. So let's go ahead, assume that he's gonna retreat. I'm not even gonna bother. Eh, I guess there's no reason not to. Let's go ahead and move Spurt Mildew into this battle just in the off chance that he decides to stay and fight. And then we're going to go ahead and take Tamarcon, and this will have 4% movement left, so assuming he does retreat, we're not going to be able to hit him this turn. Yep, okay. As expected. Oh, he didn't even go very far, but it, but far enough. Oh well, it is what it is, and uh, obviously we can't uh, we can't really reach him with this army either. Can we inch a little bit closer? We cannot. Okay. All right. Well, 
That is uh, not at all a surprise. It was pretty much expected. I think at this point I might as well put you in march stance and get you as close as possible. At the very least, if he retreats all the way back into Ice Spewer, like I said, I think that we can take both of those on as long as we're not being threatened here at the Challenge Stone immediately. So let's go ahead and in anticipation that we're going to be able to get back up here in time, I'm going to go ahead and level up Challenge Stone. I'm going to save a little bit of money so that we can level up these buildings right here. And there's nothing that we can really do to lower the price of uh, upgrading buildings. So I'm just going to leave this on control and growth, I guess. Let me just double check. We're at 100 corrupt Nurgle Corruption, so we don't really need to worry too much about that. Um, hang on a second. I just realized I forgot to set my timer. And uh, I have a tendency to lose track of, of time. So I'm going to go ahead and set that now. Okay. And uh, anyway, then uh, plagues and recruitment costs. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to leave the control and the growth because definitely both of those are good. And let's go ahead and try to get Pinch Eye. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, no, okay. Let's get Pinch Eye down here as quickly as possible. And try to get some, uh, some reconnaissance done on Zatan the Black. It's going to take several turns before we get down there, unfortunately. Looks like three more turns. But, uh, eventually, hopefully, it'll, it'll get there, um, in time to do some good. Let's uh, take a look here at our infections. Now we could, we actually have, we have two turns left right here. That's interesting. I don't think it's likely that it's going to spread from this army to this army on its own. We'd probably have to engage in a battle or exchanging units, which I'm not going to do, but that was definitely a really nice cost savings for us. Then the other thing that we could do is maybe save save a plague for in case the enemy army starts coming up here and maybe gives us a chance to, uh, to weaken them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the infections for the time being. We're not going to get another dominance this turn, but it's fine. We'll get it next turn. And let's just go ahead and check our diplomacy out. I'm not real interested in making nice with Clan Farrakh, or quite frankly, any Skavens in general. Okay, let's go ahead and I uh, just want to just want to take a look at this. We've not unlocked everything. This has shuffled once. Um, fleshy abundance that would be kind of nice to have. Casualty replenishment rates not desperately important right now. Yeah, okay. We'll we'll worry about these a little bit later. One thing I don't know, are they always the same symptoms but they just shuffle around into different locations or there could there actually be symptoms that we've never seen before show up when it reshuffles and ones that we have seen before go away for you know for that uh, go round? I I don't know. Probably not, but uh, I suppose it's uh, something that we'll figure out in time. All right, I'm not going to do any more recruiting, but I'm saving up enough money that I could do an emergency armor uh, army if it does turn out to be necessary. I'm going to check our missions here real, really quickly. We need to recruit a cultist of Nurgle. Not important, not important. That's going to happen on its own and be at war with Cull. Yeah, I could have probably... I thought about this later on when I was editing and uploading the previous video. Probably would have made more sense to, to go to war with Archaeon because it does help fealty with uh, Kazik. Whereas going to war with the, the Chaos Dwarfs does not. But anyway, it's not, not anything to be done about it now. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Yep, fleeing back into the... Oh, nope, even beyond the settlement. Okay, that's interesting. I do not see any of his other armies approaching the Challenge Stone, so that's good. Okay. 
obtain samples is research rate wallowing the filth is casualty replenishment. I'm going to go with the tech because we're not in desperate need of casualty replenishment right now. One of the few times I could say that in in our uh, campaigns because of the reduction to casualty replenishment mod. Let's go ahead and surround here. I'm going to encircle so that we can bring Spurt Mildew into the fight as well. And let me just double check this. I'm assuming he moved far enough away that we, yeah, we have no chance to reach him there. Okay. Let's go ahead and move you to here, I suppose. If you move there, you're probably not close enough to, uh, to join the fight. You are not. All right, move you there. Now are you? Yes, you are. Okay. And how much movement do you have left? You have 37%. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If we were going to keep Ice Spewer, we'd have to leave an army here to defend it because that army is definitely strong enough to retake it. So maybe we... I think probably what we do is we sack it. I mentioned this in the previous episode. Our strategy, since we kind of have to be a little bit careful here, our strategy is going to be to fight them, to do it like to fight them in our territory where we have just a little bit of additional advantage and then hope that we can counterattack. But the main thing is we don't want to be fighting against a much stronger faction in their territory and get our get ourselves wiped out and by giving them all of the advantages. So, in any case, we'll go ahead and fight this first. Obviously, we're going to fight it manually, but just to check out the battlefield here, we got ourselves just a regular old field battle with a couple of trees. Looks like they have a single Chaos Dwarfs unit in there and everybody else is Hobgoblin. So this ought to be quite easy. In fact, I could probably do this with just the heroes, or I'm sorry, the uh, characters. Let's go ahead and Son of God. get you guys. Let's see. I guess we can come from here and then you can kind of be here. I'll bring you in just a tad bit later and you guys can come in from the flank. In fact, And we got a couple of people here who could go Vanguard. But I'm not going to just because I, I want to keep the casualties. I think the casualties would be low anyway. Never mind. It's, there's probably no reason not to just go ahead and get everybody... Get everybody into the fighting. We'll lose a couple of models, but it's certainly not a big deal. Everybody go ahead and get going. Guys can go around flanking or behind. You get going as well. Where are Chaos Dwarf Warriors? I want the Plagogers on the Chaos Dwarf Warriors. Let's go ahead and get Tamarcon on them as well. Kazik, you can go ahead and hit them, that's fine. In fact, you can handle all that just fine. Let's go ahead and get you guys on them. You guys on them. You guys on them. You guys all on them. Tamarcon, obviously we want you ripping people to shreds here little bit of magic off. Desolation through Nagal. Death comes. Go ahead and get on him. Lost track of the enemy. Oh, oh, we got a pandemicium here. This before I cast it, I just wanted to make sure. I don't know I don't remember whether this could affect us or not, so I'm not actually gonna cast it. And it shouldn't matter here. Let's see. I lost track of his lord again, but I'm not seeing him now. 
Actually, it may not have even. It's he's right here. I can't actually tell. Oh yeah, no, okay, he's he's not an actual lord. I I, I didn't think he was, and then all of a sudden, I got got myself confused. I get easily confused quite often. Okay, decent money. And we're going to sack. Oh, very nice. Okay, we'll take the Helmet Discord, the plus 100 infections, and the additional favor. Works for me. Got to figure out who to give that to. And, uh, yeah. I think what we can do now is we can race. Well, first of all, let me go ahead and apply the, the skill point here. I think we want to go... Blade Shield is a possibility, but I think we want to go thematic here. Maybe with Heroic Killing Blow. We don't have enough Plague Ogre units right now to make that worth my while. Certainly don't have enough Toad Dragon units since we have none. And uh, I'm not going to take the red line just yet. So I'm going to actually go with Ferocious Maggot. We only need two points before we could then do this, and that's a minus 25% upkeep, which is really, really nice, so we definitely want to do that as soon as we can. Let's go ahead and get you moving back in this direction. I normally would not want to risk being in March Stance in enemy territory, but I think we're okay right here. Famous last words. Let's go ahead and get you over there as well. Okay. Probably didn't really weaken them at all. No, in fact, they're even stronger than they were. How'd, th how'd that happen? But we got ourselves a little bit of money and a little bit of experience. And we took advantage of the fact that we declared war first to kind of irritate them. And now, hopefully, they will send an invading army and right after we get a chance to properly reinforce our uh, our territory up here. Okay, so Kadatha here, you... We don't really need growth... I, I'm sorry, we don't really need casualty replenishment up here or Nurgle corruption up here right now. We could use the extra infections for sure. Obviously, we could use the growth. Oh boy, what to do, what to do. I could also go with some defense. But I don't think I'm going to do that because it's, it's not really the front line right now. I could also go with uh, a good military building. So we've already got this one right here. This is good for our, our mortal melee infantry units. This is good for our demonic. This is not a priority for me because Tamarkan is going to be more focused on mortals. Now we could, again, these are demons. Um, I guess the bile trolls are not, but the, I guess the spawn of Nurgle are not either. Um, okay, so this is an option, but right now I don't think it's the best use of our money. Let me just take a look at what else we got. Okay, so we have a mix of of mortal and demonic here in uh, in the living tree of decay and then yeah the same same thing here the chaos war shrine is mortal obviously the beasts of Nurgle are demonic okay I'm not going to prioritize a, uh, a military building just yet I'm going to go ahead and go with the I'm going to increase infections because because I really would like to be able to start doing plagues more often. I don't think I need the defense right now. This is uh, an income building, so that's a high priority. Okay. I think then we're probably all set for our buildings. We have enough money. 
that maybe starting next turn we'll start to recruit into Spurt Mildew's army. And maybe we'll do demons into his army. I don't know. We'll, we'll give that a little bit of a think. But I do... I do kind of feel like we buff... Not just in... We, we buff mortal units not just in Tamarkan's own army, but I think there's advantages to it for the entire faction as well. Yeah, recruitment cost, for example. Casualty replenishment rate. Oh, no, that's that's own army. Never mind. Never mind. All right, well, I'll worry about it a little bit down the road. Hero not moved. Yes, of course, we want to not forget about this. Keep moving down this way. Okay, all right. We're getting there. Maybe if we see no signs of him, maybe we'll consider hitting Blizzard Peak again. It's a low priority as far as I'm concerned, but if we're not being threatened, we need to be doing something. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do our research, of course. Plague Beasts. Um, those are all demons, aren't they? I'm assuming the Toad Dragon is a demon. He is not. Okay, never mind then. And, and the cat, the spawn is not either. Okay. All right, so actually, and neither are the uh, Bile Trolls. Okay, so I take it back. These Plague Beasts is a combination of both demons and mortal units. Uh, I think I've already decided not to do this because of the lack of, of demons. Contaminating Claws. I'm not really using flying units right now. This is probably not a half bad choice. Overcoming Resistance would further benefit our, our cavalry units. Rock Glorious Rod is always good. Avatars of the Plague. Oh, that's really nice as well. Okay, I think maybe we have... This is a very strong option right here. Plague Beast is a... It's an, certainly a, an okay option. If we wanted to work towards Pox Tally, that's an okay option. And Rancid Boils is not great for us. What about Faction? Okay. We have Contagious Horde. Wait a minute. Research available. Really? I didn't already start this? I was kind of thinking that I had. All right. Well, Contagious Horde is pretty obviously going to be our choice. Nurgle's Blessed. Oh, no, that's right. I, I I wanted to get it, but I'm working my way up from the bottom up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. These diplomatic relations are not really a high priority for me. Okay, very good. And then we'll, we'll go either... We could consider fever incubation. Incubation. Um, eh, this seems a little bit less likely. Okay. All right. Um... We now have 200. Oh, wait a minute. I've got a... Okay, here we go. I've got seven. I could enable attrition for enemy armies, and this is not a good use of a dominance point, I don't think. It was nice when we tried it out, but at this point, I do believe I'm going to go ahead and go with Ketsak here. You are, again, going to benefit from researching technologies, which will finish one just in the next turn. Sigil of Madness, Income from Sacking Settlements, Winds of Magic Power Reserve. We don't have any spellcasters in uh, Tamarkan's army right now, do we? Um, he, he's clearly a spellcaster, so we can get him into the army. And uh, we could unlock some Femir Warriors. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and recruit him. Where is he going to pop up? At our capital or at Tamarcon? At Tamarcon's location. Okay. All right. That works for me. That suits me fine. Okay. Ketsak Finderic joins your calls. Though the Femir were long since abandoned by the malevolent gods of chaos, the mysterious power of their Bale Fiend sorcerers are still frequently used in the service of the ruinous powers. Among these dark magic users, there are few more dedicated to the calls than Ketsak Fenderic. 
Vim Derek, excuse me. A bale fiend of rare skill and intelligence, he is prof prophesized by the Mierg, Merg, to restore greatness to the Femir clans. Thus, a glorious destiny calls him forth on a quest of great importance to understanding the deepest arcane law of the word and wreak havoc in the name of his long overlooked race. This would be a very cool race to have as a playable faction, and I, I want to say OVN was the, uh, had had a mod that allowed you to do it. I don't really know what the status of that is right now. Maybe it wasn't OVN. It may, may have been somebody else. Okay, uh, chieftains. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. We already know all that. Oh, he counts as a cultist of Nurgle. Okay. Why not? Devout cultists. Okay. I don't actually have any cultists. Oh, maybe. Unless he counts as one. Um. Let's get him into Tamar Khan's army. Well, I guess we're not going to be able to this turn because we've already used all our movement, so I can't shy of uh, disbanding a, a unit, which I'm not going to want to do. For the toe then I really can't. Um, replenish units. Kazik, do you have replenish units? You do not. Okay, so he really does act like a uh, chieftain. All right, well, we're definitely going to do that. And then other than that, we're going to make him... We're going to lean into his theme as a spellcaster. We'll give him smoke and mirrors. We'll definitely take the uh, the wind spell here. And I'm thinking probably more likely the enfeebling foe. Go with that. We can give you the helm of discord. Sword of striking, since you're not really going to be much of a melee combatant. You've got the sigil of madness. Potion of Healing. Potion of Speed. The terrifying Mask of Evil. Obviously, we don't need that as well as the Sigil of Madness. Okay, oops, Ancillaries. Plague Ship Captain. Yeah, I don't see why not. Make, let's first of all make sure that our... Okay, never mind. You need it more than he does. The Lord here needs Plague Ship Captain more than the heroes do. Alright, so here on Tamarcon. Well, we got our first armor, so boom, it makes sense to give that to him. Potion of Speed is an enchanted item. I can improve it with Potion of Healing. Let's do that. Although Speed is actually quite good for him, isn't it? Come on. Okay, speed 25% for 36 seconds. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go back to potion of speed with him. Kazik, you get the potion of healing because you don't really need more speed. Um, okay, you've got a weapon. You've got a weapon. You've got a weapon. Pinchai, you do not, and neither do you. I'm going to give it to you. And then the Spore Sensor here. As a Talisman. Kazik's already got the Icon of Decay. So let's go ahead and give this to you as well. Oh, whoops. Never mind, you already had a Sigil of Madness. That's bad. Bad thinking there, Michael. Okay, then we'll give it to... We'll give it to Spurt Mildew. We'll give you the... Oh, do we have two potions of speed? We do. We'll give you the Terrifying Mask of E. Why not? We have one more potion of speed. There you go. You got it. All right. I think we're... Uh... We're ready, set, go now. Again, I'm going to hold off on the infections for the moment. Or the plagues, I should say, for the moment. Let's go ahead and do our diplomacy here. It's only a matter of time before he comes into our territory. Oh, you know what? I could do this, of course. 
Yes, I do want to get him into the army, but I can at least do a little scouting with him first. All right, I actually now look like I have a little bit more visibility. I guess we can't see right here, so hopefully he's not right there. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. Okay, casualty replenishment rate. I had to change into shorts. It got too hot here. Okay. Um, that's good. Colt. Oh, Colt manifested. I will definitely take that as we do get at least a little bit more in the way of infections every turn for only 500. I think it's worth it. Got our construction complete. Oh, and we encountered good old Helmet Gorge. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with him. That is all up to Kugath. Okay. So, now, can you reach? Yes, you can. All right. First of all, you. Let's get you down here. Do we have time for this? As far as I can see, yeah, you're not going to be able to get over there this turn anyway. I moved you too far last turn, so you're kind of already committed to coming at least this far. Okay. It looks to me like I do have time for this. He has foolishly moved into the settlement. Right? I mean, he's... Sure looks like it. I thought it used to say garrisoned right here if the army was inside the settlement, but... You can reach. Decisive defeat? You're kidding. Encircle. And can you get close enough in regular stance it sure looks like you can all right well decisive victory let's do it we got to dance around for one minute 41 seconds but i don't foresee that being a major problem he his lord is pretty strong he's level 12 but his Two best units are these Chaos Dwarves, the Blunderbusses, and the Dwarf Warriors. The rest of these guys are not really Orc Laborers. I don't care if they're rank 4. They're not very good. And the Hobgoblin Archers are obviously much less of a concern than those Blunderbusses are. And these guys are already damaged. So I don't really foresee th this being all that challenging. We just got to take care of his Lord and his Blunderbusses. And we've got a lot of cav with which to take care of the blunderbusses. I guess I could have looked at the plagues, but I don't think it was necessary for this fight. Start deployment. Okay, so we're coming in from over here. Yeah, you can just... You can just start out right there, start battle, speed things up. He is not coming towards me. Why is he taking damage up there? He used an ability that causes damage to self. Probably the boost wins the magic, maybe. And there we are. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get uh, our main line of melee infantry. Just a nice, really wide line of melee infantry. We'll get, we'll get them up here like so. We'll go ahead and get the Plague Ogres here. Cav, you guys are my five. Learn 
how to spin the camera, Michael. There we go. You guys are over here. Spreading ruination. You guys get up here and you can join them. And then the Forsaken, you're going to kind of be my, uh, my reserves. And we're going to go ahead and speed up. Make sure I didn't forget about anybody here. Don't think so. So, I can do this anywhere on the battlefield, it looks like. It does... Well, it does some damage, but it actually looks like it's going to be better to use it when we're about to engage in combat. So I'm going to hold off for the moment. Okay, he's starting to redeploy. Where's the blunder buses at? Definitely want to find them. There's the uh, some hobgoblin archers, but not the main one. There's the blunder buses right there. So that's that's their symbol, and they are a rank six. Doesn't surprise me because you can get a lot of kills with that unit. Okay, how are we doing here with our melee infantry? Let's go ahead and get our main melee infantry. In fact, I'm going to put you guys on four. And I'm going to lock you. And then I'm going to get the Forsaken behind you. Five, you guys are over here. Just keep... Uh, Keep on working around like so, I believe. You guys. I'm going to put all three of you on one. Oh, and my Plague Ogres. I don't want to forget the Plague Ogres. Okay, speed up again. Okay, he's got his blunderbusses in a a smart place where our cavalry cannot easily get to him. He's kind of worked himself into a nice positioning here where it's going to be difficult to get around behind. So, uh, you know, good for him. Good for him. It's smart. It's uh, nice to see the AI behave intelligently every once in a while. The, oh, okay, he blasted us. You guys go ahead and actually... You can, you can get pulled back. I'm going to take you out of uh, four. Get you out of the group. You can uh, hang back and sit tight. Oh, another unit got blasted. Okay, good. Same for you. I can afford to get you out of the group as well. All right. Now you, huh? How much magic does he have, I wonder? All right, he's he's casting spells faster than I can move units out. So that's that's annoying. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start charging forward. You guys go ahead and get in over there. Looks like we didn't hit them over there. Let's go ahead and get one. You guys head here directly into the blunderbusses because you guys can take it. He's probably going to start shooting at us. Here, okay, back up. Back up. Get you out of there. Alright, you took a lot of damage, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and hit right here. Mainly for those blunderbusses. Kazik. There. Oh my goodness, look at how much damage that did. Wow. Okay, how we doing? Let's go ahead and get you up here now. You two, you can come forward up. And my Plague Ogres, get you over here now. My fives, you guys. Alright, let's get you hitting some different targets here. Up 
here we are yeah actually you can you can stay it out of the fight for now all right how are we doing here what what's going on where's his uh his lord's still flying around unfortunately we can't do a whole lot about that let's hope his uh, lord lands here at some point Although we do have this. We can do some ransom visitations. We've got so much. So much winds of magic at this point. I don't think we're even going to need to worry about anything other than this lord. You guys just get on this lord. Make sure you stay on his lord. It's the only thing that really matters at this point. I could do a fleshy abundance, but I frankly am not seeing much much use for it. Victory, okay, come on, kill him. Come on, Kazik, you can do it. Another rancid visitations before he gets away. Hopefully that'll do it. I'm not too sure. Doesn't, nope, doesn't look like it's going to. Dag nab it. All right, in battle, he's going to die anyway. We're just not going to get the extra loot for it. Okay. Once more, the question is, do we occupy? And I believe the answer is no, we do not. So we're going to sack it again. Dragon Bane Gem, whatever. Firestorm Blade. That's okay. Mount Gained Rotfly. That's nice. Okay. Alright. So we took care of one of his smaller armies and a level 12 Lord. So that's that's good. That That's definitely of value to us. And we're going to go ahead and get back into March Stance. Head this way. We do need... At this point, to start replenishing. His wizard did do a decent amount of damage to us. So Keza could get body mass, which is not all that valuable, but it will unlock some of these other things. So let's take a look here. We got self-preservation looks pretty good. These all look okay, but not spectacular, quite frankly. What's corrupted flesh? Oh, okay, that's that's useful. And let me go back here to this uh, contagious. So plague duration plus one turn for armies and province. That could that alone could be quite useful, and a chance of the plague spreading plus ten percent. Twisted by Nurgle is less valuable. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take body mass, and probably then take contagious next after that. And you, you get magical reserves. And Blight Boil. And... I don't want to give you the Firestorm Blade. I don't want to give you the Firestorm Blade. However, I'm going to give... I'll give you the Dragon Bane Gem. Why not? Alright, I'm going to hang on to this Blade until we get another melee combatant. Okay, um... And so, at this point, I think I go ahead and start moving you back in this direction. Tamarcon, you have moved the maximum for you. Spurt Mildew, you have moved the maximum for you. Okay. Uh, research. Fever incubation. Or locus of virulence. Yeah, I think. So this is Play God's Nursery Commandment. I'm pretty much assuming that that's what we're using up here. What are we using here? Play God's Nursery. Okay, so it's an extra for that uh, province. And then also 
Yep, also for this one. Okay. Let's take a look at this again. So that is four turns, right? Yeah, four turns. Or alternatively, we could come down here and do this and work our way. Now, I'm going to go with the faction. What is uh, Timur? Okay. Okay, what about over here? Okay. Okay. Metastasis. Okay. Okay. N nothing there that is a must-have. You, meanwhile, you can go ahead and boost our infections a little bit more. And we're still three turns away from being able to do anything here. All right. Um, we're at 250... Oops, 258. I kind of feel like letting Kazik... Wait a minute, let me just double check this now. Kazik, you're at... You're still at five. Because I didn't create a plague. And because I don't get any more fealty from fighting the Chaos Dwarfs. Okay. Um, but our dominance at least went up to one. Okay, and then you, your fealty is at one because we did do the one research. You would get us Femir Warriors. Okay, these look quite, quite good. 16 models per unit. 16 models per unit. They're expensive. They're definitely very expensive. And then a Chaos Frost Strike. Well, I'm definitely going to have to get one of those, aren't I? Okay. Well, we'll get there in time. We're not there yet, obviously. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, think that's all that we're going to be able to do. Let's check our diplomacy out here. We're, we're still weaker than they are, but forget about the 11. The green versus the red is really what we need to pay attention to. Grimgore is obviously still a much bigger deal, and he's at war with the Chaos Dwarves. I'd like to think that he might be willing to go to war with them as well, but clearly not yet. Oh, yeah, and then, okay. I'm going to go ahead and do another plague, and I'm going to do it up here, I think. Because instead of making fewer, more powerful plagues, it does work in our best interest to make more, less powerful plagues. I'd really like to get this into one of our armies. I'd also kind of like to get that going. These others are, well, the income would be really nice as well. This is an army bonus, that's an army bonus, that's a settlement bonus. This is a settlement bonus, army bonus, army bonus. This is, uh, that's going to be an army bonus, I'm pretty sure I tested that. This is an army bonus. And this is an army bonus. Okay, so if I do this, I can unlock this and this for an army. Or this and this for an army, but we're not really doing recruiting right now. This would be good to unlock. And that's good to have. And that's not spectacular. Hmm. Yeah, they've, they've certainly made this a lot more interesting. Let me just take a look here. So if I... If I look at you... I, I could recruit into this army, obviously. Or I could give a bunch of units from this army over to that army. Uh, and then recruit into this army. Can I get... Both the reduction... Okay, I'm going to wait one turn, after all. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, did I... I, th I assume I did diplomacy. Um, probably bore everybody to tears with how often I check diplomacy. 
All right, Kugath, what you doing, buddy? Not a whole lot. I could not see on the mini map anything that Zatan did. Which makes me think he did nothing that we could see. All right, add them to the tally. Eliminate a lord belonging to Caravan of the Blue Races. Yeah, that's going to be a little tricky. That is definitely not going to be super convenient for us. Okay. Um, so now, oh, hello. Why did I not get a message that these guys appeared? Did I even meet them? No message that they appeared. And somehow I've managed to not meet them even though they spawned in right next to my army. Okay. In regular stance... I wish I wish I could at least see them to know what their diplomacy status is like but yeah no we're not even we're not even getting them to show up in diplomacy well this is a little bit inconvenient for you guys to be here right now It's got, they have three Cygors and Minotaurs. This is a decent enough army. I'm going to actually kind of hope that I'm not going to kill them this turn. Because, number one, we take a lot of damage. Although, I do think we would not have too much trouble defeating that army. But just in case it's worth keeping them around to harass the Chaos Dwarves, that would actually suit me fine. So, we're going to go ahead and go up to here. With Tamarcon. We, we can't reach Blizzard Peak this turn, unfortunately. I will bring the taint of Nurgle to them. Let's go ahead and get Our you like, like so. Oh my goodness, you moved into... To the beat of the wardrobes. Moved back into enemy territory. That was Trading unfortunate. Well, pass. now you're back in our territory. I just can't recruit with you, but that's fine. You... Let's get you up here as well. And I could recruit with you. Do I want to? I'm going to think about that for a second. There we go. Now, they, now they've appeared. Harbinger of Disaster. So this is Malagor. This is a very strange place for him to be showing up, I, I have to say. Their strength 129, so not great. And quite frankly... Yeah, that's not him. What's he doing up here? No idea. Okay. Um, Kugath is still slowly improving with this. And Kugath is doing just fine. Um, Alright, so... We've evened the odds with these guys a little bit, but they actually grew by one more settlement. How on earth did they accomplish that? They're not at war with anybody, and yet somehow they still managed to gain another settlement. There must have been ruins around, I guess. No real other explanation for it. Okay. Um, let's take a look here at our... Settlement situation, you are looking just fine. You are looking good. About to get this built. We're still three, I'm sorry, we're still six turns away from three to be able to level up the gallows tree. And then down here, we are five turns away from three population surplus to be able to do one of these. We have enough money that we could do a little bit more recruiting, but we're going to start suffering a real punishment to the uh, to the income if we do that. Can you fit into Tamarcon's army? It looks like you could. So let's go ahead and get. Let's 
something figured out here. I think maybe... I'm actually going to put a Forsaken of Nurgle into Spurt Mildew's army in order to make room for Ketsak here. Alright, I'm pretty excited about having a spellcaster in that army now. And, uh... The question is, do I... Do I want to recruit into this army just yet? I'm kind of thinking I probably should. Although we don't have any... We don't have any chaos mara any marauders of Nurgle to uh, to recruit in, really. I guess we're on the part of the cycle up here that isn't providing those to us. Not here, sorry. Right here, yeah, we're in the we're in the higher stages, so we're getting chaos warriors. We've already gone through the. No, we. Uh, we only get them at, at the very lowest level. That's interesting. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain too much about getting Chaos Warriors of Nurgle. They're pretty good. Chosen Nurgle. Definitely good. Alright. Um, however, if I were going to... If I were going to recruit those, I would want them to be in Tamargon's army. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Oh, I can't. We're done with our movement. Okay, I'm going to worry about it next turn. Meanwhile, you... Let's get you down here. Let's go ahead and just keep moving you in this direction. There he is, okay. Oh, nope, that's not him. It's a full stack army, but it's not uh, Zatan the Black. Okay. It is a strong army, so definitely a lot stronger than the one that we just fought, but he's only level 4 lord. That is an army that's strong, but we could beat it. Granite Spikes here is a, a size 12 garrison. Alright, so what this tells me is I do need to do some more recruitment. Recruitment health would be good. Along with the casualty replenishment rate, that would probably be good. So, and then what would this be? That's not useful. Well, if all I'm doing is recruiting... Then the thing to do is to unlock this. Okay, I gotta start here. Unlock that. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. And I'm going to apply this then to Spurt Mildew. Oh, it's only 180 infections. That's nice. Okay. Boom. That'll get us another fealty for, for Kazik, right? No. Why did it not get us another fealty? We created a plague. Unless it did. I, I thought that we were already at six. Um, when I'm editing the video, I have to go back and uh, take a look at that. All right. Well, clearly I uh, am, am missing something, but that's fine. That, that happens. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, that means that we want to go ahead and recruit. So let's recruit in... We could get the Great Weapon Marauders, but I don't... I prefer not to have Great Weapon Melee Infantry. I mean, it's it's okay to get a couple of them, but I'd rather have a more defensive-oriented front line. Same goes for the Pestigors, although they at least get Scaly Skin. Eh... Alright. I'm going to take, 
I'm going to take a couple of Pestigors here. Okay. Now we're at minus 30. Okay, we recruited them pretty, pretty high health, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and do our diplomacy now. Uh, he's not all that far away from actually wanting to make peace with us. Okay. We're getting 50 infections per turn, so that's pretty nice. Okay, here we go. What's he going to do? He's coming towards us. Interesting. I don't believe he's close enough to attack the challenge stone right away. What are you going to do? Oh, okay. Interesting. He's going down into Grimgore's territory. Well, as long as he doesn't go into ours. Okay. Um, chance of a plague spreading plus 15%. Okay. That's good. That works for me. 55% chance to spread now. All right, so obviously we could go ahead and attack Blizzard Peak. He is a full 20 stack. The challenge stone here, he can, wait a minute, let me just make sure. Yeah, he, there's no way he can reach the challenge stone. This turn, the challenge stone is about to go up to the next higher level. We're actually coming up here on the, we're running out of time. But this is going to take us from 9 units to 11 units, and they are better units. I'm kind of questioning whether those 11 units, four of them are Nurglings, though, which is very unfortunate, but two of them are Exalted Plague Bearers, which are quite good. I kind of feel like with the number of, of crappy units that he's got in there, we can defend the Challenge Stone with just Spurt Mildew. Spurt Mildew, if you move to here, you can get in on, on the fight this turn and then still, I think, turn around and get back up into our territory and still be able to reach the challenge stone next turn. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and fight this quickly because we are just about out of time. Decisive victory. I'd be halfway tempted to auto resolve this, but I don't want to start rushing through things. Sometimes I have to force myself to take my time, enjoy it. The game is a journey, not a destination. However, at least I don't have to be particularly careful with any of our tactics here. Let's just go ahead and uh, get my damaged units, my most damaged units, get them a little bit further back. Everybody else, go ahead and move forward. Let's see, you, you guys all into the middle. You two over there can get up here. You two over here can get over here. Let's go ahead and start getting our units attacking here. All right, and then uh, Tamarcon, you get in there as well. The 
you. Let's get a wind spell off, maybe. Never mind, not a good place for it, is there? See if that affects our own units. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, that was awesome. Yeah, that did a ton of damage to those Chaos Dwarf Warriors. Okay, in battle. Pandemicium, is that the name of it? Gonna have to use that a lot more often. Okay, and I think at this point, since they're sending their armies up at us kind of piecemeal and we've had more time to build up the challenge stone, I feel a little bit less concerned about their attacking up there with overwhelming force. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I think occupy this. Alright, we'll take that. It's always good to get the extra leadership there. Gained a rank. Factions encountered, okay. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and spin our camera around here. Okay. So... If I had you in regular stance... Okay, I was just wondering if he could actually reach that uh, convoy to destroy it. Alright, um... At this point, I think I'm, I need to go ahead and call that the end of this video, this episode. So, I don't feel nearly as threatened by them as I expected to. Now, that's probably just because I haven't seen the main army yet. I haven't seen uh, Big, Z, Big Z's, Big Z. I haven't seen his army yet. But we're doing okay here. Uh... We'll hang on to Blizzard Peak at this point, it looks like. Spurt Mildew, we can race you back up there to the Challenge Stone to help defend that from these guys. And I think that, quite frankly, is probably a strong enough force to do so. I could maybe recruit another unit into his army. Although, at this point, our income is obviously in very bad shape. We do have... Don't know that this is the right building to have here in that settlement. We'll probably... Demolish that one, build something else. Up here, doing okay. Not sure that this is the right building to have up here either. It's good for now, it's okay for now, but eventually I may demolish that one. And then, um, and then Challenge Stone, yeah, we'll build defenses maybe. Alright, well, a lot to think about, but uh, we'll go ahead and start uh, making those decisions in the beginning of the next episode but i think we're doing okay for now let me just double check here you're still at one two dominance you're still at six okay all right well we got ourselves a decent start anyway uh turn 33 we're doing okay I think, uh, particularly in light of uh, the mods that we're using. So, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and leave it there. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.